OK, this is my empty page again, and uh, I'm going to just hit F12 on here and open up the uh, programming uh, developer view. If I hit F12, I can see it. There you go. And it's again it nice and big. And we're looking at working with variables in terms of actually when they are created and when you put values in them and this strange undefined state that exists between the two occasions. So if I go var total, I get the message back saying that's undefined. Now, the reason it's saying that is not because total is undefined, but because the statement that creates a variable does not produce a result. Um, so yeah, don't get those two things mixed up. If I do something that, that does make a result, like for example, total equals naught, then I get the value zero because the uh, an assignment statement produces the value which is the assignment. And that's absolutely fine and dandy and how it should be. Um, and so now I can do the one that is the snake eating its tail as we've seen, which is total equals total plus one. Now, if you view this as an expression which is worked out and then assigned to a variable, it's very easy to understand what's going on because this piece here is where total plus one is calculated and then dropped into the variable total. And if I do this, the expression that is produced has the value one because naught plus one is one. And the statement has the value 1, so it prints out 1 like that. I can repeat this, just use the up key and do the statement again. And this time I'm adding 1 to 1, so I get 2. Uh, and so now I, I see 2. And each time I perform the addition, the value in total gets 1 bigger. That's how we count up. Um, one thing I'll also mention, which is kind of important, in JavaScript, I don't like the idea of having undefined variables floating around. So in JavaScript, I tend to create the variable and set the value instantly. So I go var total and I make it zero right away uh, and because this is a statement making a variable not one working a number out uh, then it returns as undefined so let's let's now mess around with empty variables let's make an empty variable call, uh, called empty test and that is an empty variable it contains nothing I can prove this because if I say on its own I get the message undefined coming back. This does not mean that empty test does not exist. It means there's nothing in it. Now, the JavaScript has this weird thing where the value undefined is the thing you can pass round. So I can make a variable called empty copy, and I can set it to the value in empty test. If I do that, I've now got a variable called empty copy. And if I look inside there, it's undefined because it's a copy of what was in empty test. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So you've got this variables can have numbers in them, but they can also be set to a value which means I am empty. And if we try and use empty variables in sums, let's make a variable called empty sum. And let's set it to empty test plus one. What's going to happen now? Will Java complain? Will JavaScript take it as on the chin and do something sensible or what? If I hit that, then I get I've made an undefined variable. Fine. Let's have a look at what's in empty sum. It's not a number. It's said that you if you add a number to an undefined variable, you get an answer which is not a number. It isn't an undefined thing. You've tried to do something, but what you've done is silly and wrong and not a number. So if you add an undefined variable to a number, you get a number. If you add two undefined variables together, I'm not sure what you get. Uh, maybe you want to have a go and find out, but the, the bottom line really is you should try and avoid this. But the final thing I mentioned is if I just use a variable that JavaScript has never seen before, like not defined, then I get an error instantly. So if I don't make it, then it complains. If I make it and don't put a value in it, it doesn't complain, it does strange things. This is an important message to carry away from this whole process, so keep that in mind. Uh, if you've programmed in other languages that kind of blow up if you try and use variables that haven't been defined and just won't let you do it, then you'll find this quite different. Your program will always run, it'll always do something, but it might sometimes do something which is strange. So there you are.